The biggest problem so far is in making person-to-person -person and collect long-distance phone calls and directory assistance. Nearly 2,000 workers are on strike in the Des Moines area. About 700 supervisory and management personnel are still working, but 200 of those have been sent elsewhere in Iowa to help out where needed. The media problem is filling in for operators. Supervisors are doing their best, but are extremely slow because they're not familiar with the equipment. Maintenance and installation problems will creep up later. General Manager Jack McAllister expressed serious concern should another bad storm move through the state. He says damage from last Monday's storm in northern Iowa has now been repaired. Negotiations on a new contract broke off yesterday over economic issues, and pickets were set up at 5 o'clock this morning. We talked with some of the strikers and then visited the general manager's office. Why are you on strike, Debbie? Well, because um, I feel that we should be getting more money for what we're doing, and uh, I think we should be getting shorter hours. And for what we have to take from customers and management, we should deserve more than what we're getting. And we put a lot into our jobs. Most of the other strikers here feel the same? I hope they do. That's the way I feel. Are you going to get any help from the union, a strike pay or such? Uh, well, as of yet, we haven't really heard, but I don't think we will. How is this going to affect you? It might make us want to stay out longer. I'd like to have more money, of course, and, and a lot more benefits. And I understand the benefits they want to give us, they, don't, they won't be into effect for quite a while. Do you think it's worth going out on strike for, uh, as some union leaders say, at least two weeks? Oh, I think so. Certainly, if we get the benefits that we're asking, and that's what we want, I think, more than anything else, is better benefits and better retirement. How long have you worked for the telephone company? I did work for them 30 years. I've been retired 20. And what, why are you here? Because I want a bigger pension. You've been here for the other strikes then, is that right? How does this compare with those? About the same. Would you say that the demands are about as serious now as they ever have been? More so because everything's getting higher. How long would you stand here? Well, all day if I could stand them. Uh, have you been uh, operating at all? You, I see you have a pair of headsets here. What? Do, are, have you been down there? Yes, uh, I dropped down to brush up a little bit on my operating uh, uh, practices and procedures and I must say that our uh, uh, wonderful operators when they're here on the job do uh, do a fantastic job and I'm even more impressed by their ability after I go down and try it myself. What about public reaction? What do they think? Well, uh, it's a little too early to uh, to tell. Uh, the public expect, uh, and they should expect, good telephone service from us and uh, when we fail to deliver it uh, over a period of time, I'm sure they're not going to be too happy with us. But uh, uh, we're going to do everything we can to keep the telephone service uh, at an acceptable level and, uh, and hope the, uh, that our customers will bear with us during this period of time when we uh, are attempting to get our employees back and, and hopefully get the service back to normal. If he were living now, what do you think Alexander Bell would have to say about this? Well, he, he'd probably uh, scratch his head and uh, call for Watson. <laughs> There are a couple of side effects from the strike. Workers building an annex to the telephone company honored the picket lines this morning, and construction on the building has been halted while officials try to work out an agreement to get it going once again. The walkout will not affect Bell Telephone's plans to ask for a rate increase later this month, and for the first time, officials disclose that a 12 to 13 percent increase will be requested. That will pertain to all calls in Iowa, but not out-of-state calls, which are regulated by the federal government. Prices for telephones and other services will be going up, too. Rick Fredrickson, KRNT News at the Telephone Company.